In the dim corridors of adversity, moments of resplendent light often emerge, casting their brilliance upon even the darkest of days. Such is the tale of Michael Strahan and his daughter Isabella, whose journey through the harrowing labyrinth of medulloblastoma, a rare form of brain cancer, found solace and joy in an unexpected visit from her favorite person. Isabella's story, chronicled in tear-stained vlogs and heartfelt interviews, unfolds as a testament to courage and resilience in the face of adversity. A freshman at the University of Southern California, USC, her life took a dramatic turn when excruciating headaches gave way to a diagnosis that would forever alter her path. In the intimate moments captured on her YouTube page, the world witnessed the sheer delight radiating from Isabella's face as she encountered her musical idol, Bryson Tiller, and the renowned rapper, Fat Joe. Their surprise visit, orchestrated by her father and buoyed by the generosity of strangers, became a beacon of hope in her journey towards healing. As Isabella embraced her favorite person ever with tearful gratitude, the weight of her battle momentarily lifted. Through laughter and shared admiration, she found respite from the relentless onslaught of treatments and surgeries. Yet, amidst the joyous reunion, echoes of struggle lingered. Isabella's courageous journey, marked by emergency surgeries, grueling rehabilitation, and the relentless onslaught of chemotherapy, stood as a testament to her indomitable spirit. With each passing day, Isabella's YouTube channel became a sanctuary for shared experiences and unwavering support. Her decision to lay bare the raw reality of her battle, a beacon of solidarity for those walking similar paths, spoke volumes of her selflessness and compassion. In the tender moments shared between father and daughter, a bond forged in the crucible of adversity, Michael Strahan stood as a pillar of strength and unwavering support. His daughter's bravery, a reflection of his own, became a source of inspiration for countless others facing similar trials. As Isabella's journey continues to unfold, her story serves as a reminder of the transformative power of love, resilience, and the unyielding human spirit. In the hushed whispers of hospital corridors and the triumphant laughter of unexpected reunions, her tale resonates as a testament to the enduring light that shines even in the darkest of nights. Michael Strahan had a special surprise, his 19-year-old daughter Isabella amid her battle with medulloblastoma, a rare form of brain cancer, in the form of a visit from her favorite person. Isabella has been documenting cancer journey in the vlog, tearfully revealing she was recently surprised by her favorite person ever, singer Bryson Tiller, as well as rapper Fat Joe. The heartwarming moment was captured and uploaded to Isabella's YouTube page, beginning with Michael hiding in a foyer with Bryson, Fat Joe, and several others as they wait for Isabella to get ready. If she'd have been in her pajamas when you walked in here, we would have a problem. She wouldn't forgive us, Michael, 52, jokingly explains as the group wait to go meet Isabella. The group then sneaks downstairs, holding bags and flowers, and Bryson enters the kitchen coming face-to-face -face with Isabella. The University of Southern California, USC, freshman was instantly starstruck, left speechless as her favorite singer goes to hug her. Oh my God, it's Bryson Tiller. You're my favorite person ever, she exclaims as they hug, and she is overwhelmed by tears. I'm sorry, I usually don't cry like this. It's so nice to meet you, she gushed, tearfully adding she's great when the singer asks her how she is. The teen, who just last week revealed she recently had last-minute brain surgery and spent four days in the ER due to soaring fevers, jumped up and down with excitement. You haven't moved this much in months, her Good Morning America host father observed in amusement. Michael explains that Fat Joe had seen Isabella's YouTube videos, and in one filmed on her last day of radiation, she had mentioned that Bryson Tiller was playing, exclaiming he was her favorite. So he helped arrange for him to visit her. Bryson was gracious enough to fly in just for you for this, Michael told an emotional Isabella. Isabella admitted that she listened to Bryson's music while she was undergoing radiation treatment after being diagnosed with brain cancer. I don't usually fangirl, 
the overwhelmed teen said, with her dad cutting in and lovingly telling her, You're fangirling. All your cool is out the window, he joked. The pair went to build a flowerpot Lego set that Bryson bought for her, while they chatted about his music process. As Bryson's visit came to an end, Isabella excitedly told him Thank she you had for coming the best to see Wednesday me. Ever. This made my whole life, she says at the end, giving him a hug goodbye. It was so nice to meet you. I'm the biggest fan ever. Isabella explained on GMA in January that she started suffering from excruciating headaches during her freshman year in college, first noticing something had been off since probably September. Like October 1, that's when I definitely noticed headaches, nausea. I couldn't walk straight, she shared in a heartbreaking interview with her father. Initially, Isabella said she mistook her symptoms for vertigo. Michael confessed that when his daughter shared her symptoms with him, he never considered that they might be indications that she was battling cancer, particularly because she was just 18 and was so young, strong, and healthy. Isabella was ultimately diagnosed with medulloblastoma, which, according to GMA, accounts for 20% of all childhood brain tumors and is typically found in about 500 children each year, most commonly those between the ages of 5 and 9. Isabella underwent emergency surgery to remove the tumor on October 27, one day before her 19th birthday, with Michael stating that doctors wanted to get it out as soon as possible. The teenager faced an uphill battle in the wake of the surgery, during which she underwent a grueling month of rehab, which included relearning how to walk. Following the surgery, Isabella underwent several rounds of proton radiation therapy, which she completed just one day before she revealed her diagnosis to the world. Isabella has previously opened up about some of the terrible symptoms she has endured as a result of her chemotherapy, recently revealing she underwent emergency brain surgery and was suffering 102-degree fevers. I don't feel great. I don't feel horrible. I felt worse, but I don't feel good. I feel like I can barely walk now, she admitted. Since first opening up about her diagnosis on The Morning Show, Isabella has been documenting her horrific journey on her YouTube account, where she has racked up more than 21,000 subscribers. Her father added of her decision to be so open about it online, she's doing it, in the hopes that other people with the same diagnosis will feel supported and know they are not alone.